Okay, now we are on Google Earth. I'm gonna wait on a few of y'all to come in. If you've never used Google Earth, I'm gonna try to move the screen slow enough that you can kind of follow where we are, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out on the whole world so you can kind of see where we are in reference to this area. And um, this of course is all the way across from us. If I turn the earth around, you will see the United States, okay? So what I want you to see is that we're gonna go around, uh, here we are in the United States, and we're gonna go across the Atlantic Ocean and turn the earth, and we're going to see Jerusalem, Turkey, which was Turkey in the day. The ones that have remained the same are Jerusalem is still Jerusalem, Turkey is still Turkey, Greece is still Greece, Italy is still Italy but what they called Asia uh, was this area, okay? We can zoom in. Let's zoom in, I want y'all to zoom in because I want y'all to see the area that we've been studying from a world view, okay? So you've got Egypt over here and you had the four finger, um, lakes, I mean, well, not lakes, but rivers coming into it. Um, this is where that area was. All right, it's so different when you look at it on this map compared to the map that was in the book, okay? Um, I'm looking to see if anybody's watching right now, okay. So this is our, I'm gonna zoom in here and let y'all see this, okay? This is the Dead Sea. So we know if we go up, we're gonna see the Jordan River. This is the Jordan River coming up through here. And the Sea of Galilee should be at the top. There it is. So there's the Sea of Galilee, okay? And it's really not a big body of water at all. Um, I've never been over there. I know some of you have. Um, I think that's really cool to, you know, that you would get to go over there. Uh, this is the city of Nazareth, which is still called the city of Nazareth. Uh, that is where Jesus um, grew up in his earlier years. Um, of course, he was, uh, if you go down, you're gonna see Jerusalem and Bethlehem, of course, is where he was born. So if you wanted to go, um, let's say to Jerusalem, what's cool about using Google Earth is I can actually take y'all into the city of Jerusalem. And um, let's see if there is a, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so I can see the text. If you've never been in Google Earth, it's different than Google Maps um, because it has a 360, um, you can see things at a 360 perspective. We're gonna to go to the garden tomb of Jerusalem and I'm gonna bring y'all down into uh, this area got to wait on it to come through. It's being slow. It's not letting me go down there good. Let's go over here to um, this monastery and see if we can see it up close. Let's take a person and put them out on the street. All right, here we are. So we're on the streets in Jerusalem and we're supposed to be near a monastery.
there it is. I guess that's it. Let's zoom out a little bit. It's as far back as it's going to let us go. So let's go down the street. But you can actually go in Google um, Earth and visit places. One place I wanted y'all to see mainly was the Sea of Galilee because we've been, uh, so I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go back to 2D version, North, Earth view. And I'm going to take y'all to the Sea of Galilee. And this is the Sea of Galilee, okay? Capernaum is right here. And um, I believe that's the area that Jesus was when he, uh, were talk he was talking to the people before he went out on the boat. And they could hear him, and his voice was real audible over because he was over the water. And you can see um, that it's not a real big body of water, but I want y'all to see the water from the street view. Um, so I'm going to pick up my person, and I'm going to put them out on the street. And we're going to turn around and look, and we can see the Sea of Galilee. Okay. Um, this is the area that we've been talking about a lot. And I just think it's really cool that you can go into this and um, travel down the streets. And you can actually see places, you know, like, for instance, some of you have been over there, and I have never, like I said. But really, we can go anywhere on Google Earth, and we can see anything. So right now, we're looking at the Sea of Galilee. And then you can just click the Earth bag, and it takes you back, you know, to a larger perspective. And let's say we go into, um, let me go back and put it on north. So we get our, uh, now I'm going to zoom in and show you these areas where Paul went. Now, this is Jerusalem, this is the Sea of Galilee, this is the Jordan River, and this is the Dead Sea. Actually, I think I'm too far down. This is the Sea of Galilee, this is the river, and this is the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is bigger than the Sea of Galilee. So this whole area up through here was where Paul went first. On his road to Damascus, you remember is where he lost his sight and Jesus um, shows himself to, to uh, Saul and then changes his name to Paul. And Paul becomes a missionary and believes in Jesus Christ. And that was on the road to Damascus. Um, if you, if you kind of zoom out a little bit, you're going to see that he goes to Turkey first. Then he's going to go over to Greece, I believe. Um, he goes to Italy. And then he um, actually dies in Rome, which is here, okay? But I just wanted to kind of show y'all that because I think it's really interesting. The Mediterranean Sea is here, and all of everything in the Old Testament, everything, revolved around this little area right here. You had um, this area was Israel. And in the beginning, it's Canaan. And when um, then Egypt took the people, this is Egypt over here. And then Moses had to bring them, you know, back home. And he, they, they were out in the wilderness. And then, um, but this is the area that we studied the most, okay? And then, of course, they were taken by, um, I believe these are the rivers that we studied here. Um, and they were taken. But anyway, I just think it's really neat, and I want y'all to see that. It might be boring for some of y'all, but for me, it's not boring because I've never been over there. Um, and we could just go real quick into Jerusalem and look, you know, at one of the, look in the main city and see something if you want to. Let's see. Let's pick a person out. Put them out in the street. And uh, here we are. This is in Jerusalem, and I have no idea where we are. We are on uh, Chopping Street. 
So we are in the city right here of Jerusalem. And you can just click the arrows and you can uh, go down the streets. This is really fun to do. Like if you've never been to Paris, I have. But if you've never been to Paris or somewhere and you've really always just kind of wanted to, you know, see the sites, um, you can go anywhere in the world with Google um, Earth. So I guess I'm going to sign off. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Bye, Jerusalem. And we'll come back and I'll show you my little city right here. I live in the city of Dallas. Let's see, where is it? Lord, I got to zoom way in to see my little city, apparently. Oh, I'm too far down. This is the city I live in. So when I go get my uh, when I go get my mail at the post office, um, I'll show y'all where I, I go up through. Um, I believe this is it here. That's not it. Lord of mercy. Tammy, get it together. I gotta zoom out and see where I'm at. There's the city of Dallas. Here we are, we gotta drive up through here. Right here. This is my post office. <laughs> I get it right in a minute, y'all. I'm gonna put my little man out there and I'm gonna show y'all this is where I go get my mail. Okay, it won't let me go into the driveway of the post office, but that, that's our post office right there in the city of Dallas. So I go in that little door right there and I go in, there's my box back here. And I'll show you where Mama lives. I can't, I don't necessarily want to show y'all where I live, but let me go back out and I'm gonna go down the street. Well, for heaven's sake. Oh, well, I'm not the best at this, am I? I'd be better off searching it. Westminster, W-E-S-T-M-I-N-S-T-E-R. That's the best thing to do on this thing. Then it just takes you there. There we are. Um, it doesn't even show the building that she's living in. This is old, um, but it was built right here on this site. So y'all can't even see how pretty it is. I'm sorry. Um, and it's two years old now. You'd think they'd update this thing. And this is the this is the hospital that we have here in Dallas. It's a pretty nice place. It will only let me put y'all out on the main road. That's our hospital. So anyway, um, you get the picture. It's fun to use. Log into it. It's called Google Earth Pro. It's free. Um, you download it on your computer and you can go into the Holy Cities and you can get an idea of the geography at an even better um, perspective than what we can get it off our book pages. So thanks for watching um, Real Southern Woman today. Tomorrow I'll just come in and do a regular Bible study, uh, but I just thought it would be kind of neat to show you all the geography and the way the book um, describes the New Testament beginning. So I guess I will be talking to y'all tomorrow.